Hi, my name is Rebecca Gresby, and this week I'm going to be talking about chapter 9 from our Media Ethics at Work book. So this chapter talks about a case about a student named Lauren who switched her major to journalism and was upset that her math credit did not transfer over um, and would no longer count as a requirement. So she spoke with other students at her school and found that other transfer students had problems with their credits carrying over. Um, and she saw that there were inconsistencies in the decisions about which courses um, would count for some students. And so one course would count as a transfer credit for one student, but the same course would not count for another student. And so she did research to see if there were any rules about universities um, and the way that they could accept or deny transfer credits. So um, she did find that there were no federal laws on how schools could handle the credits of transfer students and that each school can choose their own individual criteria. So Lauren then interviewed academic counselors at her state and community college, and she found that they assign um, academic counselors to um, to evaluate transfer credits case by case. Um, so then she decided to call the registrar's office at her university and ask them if they had a course equivalency table. And that is basically a database listing um, the name of a course, its number, um, a little course description, just showing its equivalent to courses at other schools so that it could transfer over and count um, at their new school. And so then when she called the secretary at this university and said she was a reporter and then was asking about um, these things, the um, secretary could not, said they couldn't give her a course equivalency table and they didn't state if that was because the school didn't have one or if they just couldn't send that out to her or anything like that. So instead of doing further interviews with students or other counselors at the school, Lauren then decided to call the registrar's office again and speak to the secretary, but this time she pretended to be an incoming transfer student for the next semester instead of um, being herself again and asking once again if she could interview them as a journalism student. So um, she called and pretended to be a transfer student and um, the secretary basically told her that two out of her five imaginary courses would likely count. She wasn't really sure um, that there was unofficial information about transfer credits and that they could change at any given moment or um, any day depending on who she talked to and who evaluated her um, transfer papers. And so then the she wrote a story, Lauren wrote a story about it for her journalism class and it ended up getting picked up by the school newspaper and soon it appeared on the third page of the school newspaper and basically the ethical issue in this story was the fact that Lauren decided to pretend to be somebody else, that she um, didn't inform the secretary of her true identity when she very well could have. Um, the book talks about how people usually don't give out their true identity in journalism when it's like a dire situation or the cops are involved or it's just like a very well thought out, well planned story that they need to get information on, whereas hers was in no sense dangerous or um, called for. And so she didn't even end up telling her um, teacher about going undercover until after it had already been done. So her classmates, as well as myself, had mixed opinions on her decision about hiding her identity. And so before resorting to this method, I think that if I were in the situation, I would have spoken to more transfer students and would have like confirmed exact instances where one course was accepted for one student and the same exact course was denied for another student. And that would have given her story a lot of credibility with real people and real situations involved with paperwork showing that information. And so I also think that if she 
truly was not getting through with the secretary of the registrar's office that she could have gone to alternate sources in the school she could have talked to somebody on sga like if she had any friends on there or um if it were me i probably would have reached out to someone on sga or talked to one of my professors about it and said to them or asked them if they knew anyone i could talk to um i just really would have exhausted all of my resources before going undercover because i do think that that was kind of unethical i also um, was uncomfortable by the fact that Lauren um, used the secretary's name in that story because it kind of incriminated the secretary because she wasn't telling her the information about a course list while she presented herself as a journalist probably because she didn't want her name in that story she knew that something was wrong but also um, was trying to protect herself and her job um, along with this probably came a lot of bad press on the secretary and at the end of the day I just think she was probably trying to do the best job that she could for herself. So again I think that if I were in Lauren's situation I would have tried to handle things differently and now I really just see the value of exhausting all of your resources before um, resorting to something that could possibly be unethical and Lauren was very lucky that her professors and the school newspaper did not um, reprimand her for this kind of activity um, so yeah thank you for watching my video that's all I have for this week bye